A lot of courageous women out there, friends, around the world. In fact, uh, time and again as I've traveled, I see women right on the cutting edge of things, uh, really the decision makers in, 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 in every sense of the word. Uh, I've seen women actually building roads. I've seen them uh, protesting. I've seen them championing the cause of children. Uh, heroic females who are doing a terrific thing for humanity. And as I mentioned off the top, uh, more and more of the reports, spotty as they are coming out of Iran, uh, show the critical place that women are playing. Some reports even said that in some cases women have been taking the lead in terms of some of the protests uh, currently in the uh, uproar over the uh, recent election in Iran. It's not um, every day you get a chance to sit down and talk with an Iranian woman who understands, who's, who's born there, who's lived there, who, who uh, can uh, see the situation from an Iranian female perspective. But such is the case now. Nazanin has come to uh, join me. And uh, Nazanin, are you surprised when you hear that women are playing um, uh, a critical role in the current unrest in, uh, in Iran? Uh, well, let me just uh, start with saying one thing before we get to our conversation. I would like to express my condolences to all, all of my people and to all the family of those who lost their life yes. yeah. during this past week for the simplest request of any human being to be heard in their own country and around the world. As an Iranian woman and as a mother, my heart goes to all of them and I wish they can prove their facts by their movement. Yeah. I think so, I, I've noticed that the English signs, and I've been surprised, frankly, at the number of English signs in the demonstrations. Where is my vote? Where is my vote? I see that again and again. Well, that's the, I think it's just the simplest request they have and it's not being heard. Yeah. And... Uh, it would raise the question, uh, why? So uh, I, I, I don't know how to express the words. Uh, um, maybe, maybe it's the best to say, okay, uh, what is going on in there? It's not just that uh, they want their vote to be counted. They, it's not just that, that um, uh, all right, they can just take the steps in a legal way and do that. And why? It, it is a question, I'm sure, for you, that why people are out so many? Why they just don't take the legal steps? Mm. I, I would like to emphasize, as a, as a woman who lived there, that this is about 30 years of not being treated well mm. as a woman. I know everybody already probably since this past week, everybody started to knowing what is going on in my country uh, about the rights that they have, the woman rights, the, uh, the way that uh, the man can treat them, all these things everybody already know. But I do not want to talk about that now. Uh, I want to talk about this, the small uh, stones, small, small things that goes on top of each other to build this pressure. Like for instance, you were telling me in the green room about just uh, an everyday occurrence for a woman in Iran. Exactly. Go going, going shopping and... Uh, exactly. So it's just very simple. The things are very simple. So somebody, somebody, somebody sees you and doesn't like the way you're dressed. Exactly. You're too much hair showing under too your hijab. Much. You, are, you are a porch with uh, the person who think he, it's the right to say what you should look like. Okay, fine. The rules are the rules. It's just the rule over here. It's, uh, let's say, uh, not, not to smoke inside. That's fine. We obey the rules, right? right? right. So uh, if you look at this, the surface, as our president used to say, it's a free country, right? It looks like it. Women are educated, 65, 63, 65% of the women are educated. They're all universities. They have jobs. They have they have, uh, you know, they come out not so bad. It's mostly fashionable clothes they're wearing. Now you can see them, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's not so bad, yeah, right? right? So what is it? What, what, why are we uh, saying, oh, there was a pressure? The pressure was that, like, let's say, this is as simple as that. You're getting out of your home. You're wearing what is required. And, you know, okay, I'm going shopping, let's say, and I'm coming home unless something happened, right? Mm. Like 
let's say, God forbid, accident or something like that. Mm -hmm. But other than that, you're not approached with anything else, right? Mm -hmm. But for us, stepping out of the house, even for shopping, we don't know if you're coming back. Mm -hmm. Because for the simple thing as your hair is showing, what's mm -hmm. wrong with you? Why are you wearing your nail polish? Yeah. Why your feet is out? Why your socks is not like that? It's just as simple as that. And what it puts you through for the 30 years, yeah. we had to, like, let's say I was there. As a mother, I'm walking with my kids. I do not want them to see, see me being captured and going to the jail right in front of my kids, leaving them on the street with nobody. I do not want to so see instead that. Of, instead so instead of fighting, right, I would just right, stand right. and I would go, okay, I'm yeah, sorry. Right. I try to fix whatever the appearance they don't like, and I try to leave. Because you want to avoid a conflict. Exactly. Oh. So this is the point I'm making. Mm. But by the time I'm home, just imagine how mm. much pressure yeah. I have to carry mm. through me. This is just a simple example of the daily life of a woman. Mm. So get it from there. You want to, you uh, the, uh, for every activity that you have, you have to be uh, allowed by your man. It could be your father, it could be your brother, it could be your uh, husband. So for every activity, for everything. So I don't know if you can call that freedom. I find it fascinating that, um, you know, they, they haven't arrested Musavi, they haven't arrested some of the male moderates, but they certainly uh, arrested Rafsanjani's uh, daughter the other day because they said she was fomenting rebellion because yes. she was standing up and speaking. Exactly. Uh, a, woman, a woman is fair game, and yet uh, the courage I'm seeing on the part of women is, is phenomenal. Um, how much access do you have to your friends and family in Iran? Are you able to talk to them? Actually, I've been able to talk to so many of them since uh, last week, um, but recently, which I can say as close as, as last night, that the phone call was only 10 seconds, and it was uh, cut very fast as soon as she said, what is happening now? And it, was, it appeared that they were breaking down into their houses, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you can see it, everything. Mm -hmm. We'd, uh, like you know that there is no reporter in Iran at this right. moment, so people become their own reporters now. So uh, from whatever we see on YouTube, on uh, Twitter, on Facebook, whatever they post, we take it as it's true. And I know as a fact that most of them are true. Yeah. So they show that they are uh, invading to their house, to people's house at night. So nights are really, really not a good time. So the time that she called, uh, it was around 11.30 uh, local time. And she only said, they're breaking down to the houses. And then it was cut. Mm -hmm. So that was disconnected. So that was the time that uh, since then, we couldn't get anything out. See, this is last night, mm -hmm. uh, yesterday afternoon for our time. And, uh, and uh, I tried, and there is not much of uh, um, any news on, 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 uh, on the internet since last night. So we're just considering what is happening, yeah. or we're hoping it's not as bad as yesterday, yeah. the day before yesterday. Uh, final question, how is this impacting you personally? Huh? You're an Iranian, uh, you wanted to vote last week, but you had to go to Ottawa to vote, and you couldn't, you couldn't do that. Um, you're also a Canadian. Uh, how is this impacting you personally? Well, it's very hard. I mm. just give you, I, I don't know how to express my feeling for the people that they are here. Mm. Uh, I, I want to say this to all the people around the globe, and especially in Canada. Please treasure what you have mm. and consider mm. that in this country, you're not getting arrested for the way that you talk, for your mind, for whatever is going on. You can express your words, you can go for it, and nobody is getting killed mm -hmm. for what they say and what they believe. So I would like to really tell people, please think this freedom yeah. anywhere in the world doesn't come easy. Treasure it.
absolutely. Nazanin, uh, that's very powerful, and I appreciate you uh, sharing that with us. In fact, uh, we, we prayed last week. I'd like to pray again. Father, we, we pray for our, our friends and, in Nazanin's case, family in uh, Iran. We know, Lord, that is a cause of great concern. There is great tumult there, great sorrow, and perhaps more to come. By your great mercy, Lord, we pray your hand on this nation and on these people. We pray, O oh Lord, that your perfect will be accomplished. We know there's no surprises for you. And we just lift them up right now. We ask, O oh God, that your will will be done for the glory of Christ. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.